everybody, welcome back to Aaron's Tech Tip and Review. My name's Aaron Johnson, and as always, please subscribe. It does help me out as um, I try to build a better site for you guys. Now, remember, I'm an enthusiast. And as an enthusiast, I get a little irritated sometimes at uh, product manufacturers. And lately, I've been getting a little upset with the so-called influencers on YouTube. Um, i.e. Paul's Hardware, you see Paul right there, uh, Awesome Sauce, um, Jay's Two Cents, Linus Tech. Um, guys, they're paid off, okay? And what do I mean by that? Well, that's real simple to see, and let me just kind of pull that up. I'm sorry I wasn't prepared, but boom! But there it is, guys. How can you be, this, this is the mother of them all right here, okay? And what do I mean by that? Okay, Linus Tech had a Noctua fan. Now, they've been touting Noctua for a long time, okay? That they're the best fucking fans in the world, okay? So, how does uh, Noctua repay Linus Tech for making them seem like the best fan manufacturer in the goddamn world? They bring out their own Linus Tech line of fans. Yes, it's limited edition, but it's bullshit, okay? Absolute crap that this is happening, okay? Because they're supposed to be impartial. These people are supposed to be impartial when they're reviewing product to you and giving us the true shit. Now, let me go back to where I was at there a second ago with Paul, okay? Now, this was the Pierre Resistance of why I'm so fucking pissed off, okay? Paul comes in and says he's going to do an SLI on the 1070, okay? He has a small disclaimer in this video. Uh, the GTX 1070 SLI, is it worth it? Okay. He's fucking lying to you. Okay. That card right there is not a retail card. That is a souped up re review only card. And what do I mean by that? Okay. Well, there's been this little bit of drama that's been going on and you're not going to hear from Paul. You're not going to hear it from Jay. You're not going to hear it from fucking Linus. And you're damn well not going to hear it from Awesome Sauce. Why? Because they suck the toes of the goddamn manufacturers. Okay? They want this supply of this new product given to them so they can make a goddamn living. But they're making a living by lying to you. Lying to me. Okay? Now, I used to trust these guys, but I can't trust them anymore. How can you trust someone who is at the very front of every one of their goddamn videos they're given... Butt kisses to freaking Corsair, to Ace, Asus, to Azu, uh, fucking bubblegum wrappers, fucking anyone that'll pay them any money. The other goddamn day, Jay had this ugly fucking uh, hoodie on that uh, was a high tech hoodie. He was he was uh, uh, sh shilling out there for us. The, the, guys, how can we trust these guys? Okay, now I'm gonna get back to let me get back to where I was at on this on this video card issue. Okay, so what is happening is Asus and MSI got caught. Okay, they got caught by this site right here. Uh, not that one. Let me get over this one right here. Um, uh, Hexus.net. They called them to the mat. Now. What they said is they found out that these cards are being souped up from the factory and being sent to these lying fuckers that are out there peddling product to us, okay? And don't get me wrong, I like them generally. But on this fact, they're lying. They're fucking lying. And that is wrong. Um, so if you read the whole statement in my description list down below here, you'll actually see this page. So go through, please read this. And here's the official statement. Um, it goes in and says, there's no difference in the retail card versus these, these other cards. Fuck you. That is so wrong. Um, it is. And the fact that Paul, he even makes a small little caveat that, hey guys, this, this is, uh, not exactly the same as a retail card. And that's the fucking truth. These are cherry pick cards and we're being told that they're better. Now, why would they be doing this? Okay, they'd be doing this to get an advantage over like EVGA or even NVIDIA's Founders Edition card to show that they're one, one and a half percent faster than those other cards. In, in the retail world, that's a lot. I mean, if you can get uh, market share, you, you, uh, you win. Okay, so these influencers, Paul, Linus, and the others are in cahoots 
with these card companies by their inability to actually give us the correct information. They're, they're lying to us. So I'm going to just kind of play here and let me see here. Disclaimer, these cards are review samples. They were sent to us straight from MSI and they're set to run out of the box in OC mode. That's one of three modes selectable from the MSI gaming app. The other two modes are gaming and Wait, silent. Paul, if you what do we have to do to get that? Retail, you will need to get that app. Go into it and click the OC mode button to run at these same speeds. Otherwise, yours will run at gaming mode. Okay, so he's saying they're saying that we have to download a special piece of hardware and to make it to work this way. I would like to add, not only do you have to do that, but Paul said that these are review models, okay? So they've already tweaked the cards. They've already know what these cards are going to be capable of, capable of, and are sending them out to you, okay, to review. So Paul, you are lying. I can't believe that you're just sitting there lying straight to the viewer's face, knowing that you have a card that is souped up, that is not a retail model card, and you're trying to pull it off as if it is a retail model card. That's fucking stupid and that is wrong, okay? So um, let me continue on. I'll just I let him run in the background there. But how can we, tr we trust MSI or ASUS in what they're doing or what they're bringing to us, okay? We can't, nor can we allow their spokespeople, and that's who they are now, Paul's Hardware, Linus Tech, Awesome Sauce, all of them are fucking mouthpieces to these companies, and we're getting lied to by it. And I don't think that's right. I think that's absolutely fucking wrong. And if... They are going to be honest to you. I need to, you know, I needed to make this video. As much as I didn't want to make this video, I made this video, okay? Because they are liars. They're lying to us about these goddamn cards. And I'm tired of it. I mean, when we see, we see crap like this coming out, how can we trust the reviewer who is giving the review? When they send them to Com Computex, are they going to tell us that, oh my God, you know, the workmanship on this is not so good, or, you know, I really feel that uh, the last generation was a better card. Fuck no. They're not going to bite that hand at all. When they were getting their goddamn uh, barbecue there at uh, the launch, you know, are they going to come out and say anything? No, we have to have a a more of an independent company come out and tell us these influencers are beginning to lie to us they're not telling us the whole story anymore to save them the ability or the shame to know that they are uh patsies or not patsies fucking what would you call them uh i don't fucking hookers i mean because they're getting paid to jerk them off jerk them off they're getting paid to jerk me off and i'm gonna waste my money based on what paul's saying I can't trust him. I can't trust Linus. I can't trust Jay. I can't trust any of them anymore. Okay. So I would say, guys, find a new reviewer because these guys are beginning to lie and do it in a manner that uh, though might be slick, you know, a lot more slick than my fucking site, but they're not telling you the truth and that's wrong. And they need to apologize to the viewers for doing it. They need to take off that goddamn, uh, uh, advertising that they put on their site because if an advertiser gets a bad review do you think they're going to stay around very long i don't think so so until next time guys i'm done with it so tell me what you think below and as always again please subscribe it does help me and i do appreciate it you know i've got 150 subscribers and to you guys thank you so much i appreciate it um you know i'm going to continue to give you my honest thoughts and this, Jesus, Paul, you know, are you fucking kidding me? Um, you should be ashamed of yourself, okay? And the rest of you guys, too. All shaming yourself. That's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, this is Aaron's Tech Review and Tips. Have a good one. Fucking lying. Lying, lying, lying. <laughs>